As the stars align on this dazzling red carpet, I'm your host, Janario Scott, and tonight we're about to embark on an exclusive journey into the world of Call Me Zaddy. Tonight we go beyond the silver stream, delving into the minds of the talented cast, the writer, the EPs, and the incredible team that brought this film to life. So what's up, you guys? I'm with Zanya Welch, who is the writer and the EP. How you doing, Zanya? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. So we got to talk about the, 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 the title, yes. Call Me Zaddy. How did that come about? Because who doesn't like a zaddy, you know? <laughs> And why not write about it? Yes. It was a, it's trending, right? Yes. And so everybody, you know, women like a zaddy. So I uh, wanted to write about it. Okay. So in this this film, there's a lot of craziness, a lot of cheating, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of it's all over the place. Yes. So tell me, why did you try to, or why did you write for the women and the men to both have mistakes, but to learn how to forgive? Because that's a part of relationships, right? Everybody is in a different stage of their relationship. So I wanted to show that. Sometimes it's not all men. I don't like writing male bashing films because sometimes women cheat too. So it's on both sides and I want to tell a true story. So what can you expect for our viewers to gain from Call Me Zaddy? I want them to gain, well, to see a great movie. Yes. That's that's yeah, first and foremost. And I want them, there is a theme of forgiveness in the movie. I want them to see that. And I want them to see that all relationships are not perfect. Right. Now, Shawnee, your character did not play. So tell them about your character. My character is full of love, full of family, and still in love with her baby daddy. She is in love with that baby daddy. So just going on, what advice would you give other women that's just like your character? Um, I've been in that position before. I would say step back. step back. Let him do his thing because you're going to be on the first 48. Yes. Listen, you, you was definitely on the first. Listen, and I like how, you know, you did say, hey, if I do this, I don't put, you, you warned him. Him and he still played with me, so you know, Miss V had to come out. Miss V can't. Yeah. Miss V did not play. Um, what do you want viewers to get from your character? I want them to understand, like, don't play with people. Do not play with people. Be honest. Be truthful, and understand that you know you're you're in charge of somebody's heart. When yes. they give them give it to you, yep. be respectful of it. If you're not ready for it, back up. Exactly. Listen, now, Calvin. Well, I'm, I'm gonna keep calling you Calvin because I'm just stuck yeah. on that character. Yeah, you I mean. did not play. I mean, you was a, a supportive friend, mm -hmm. but <laughs> listen, that twist when you saw uh, when you was reading the script and you saw that Miss V was gonna go trash that car. What was what was your thoughts? I can't let her do it. Yeah, I can't let it. her do it. Uh uh. But well, yeah, uh, 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 baby mama drama. Listen. Yeah. So, what advice would you give to other men that are just in the predicament as your character? Um. Stay there for your friend, man. Just, just, just be a good friend to your friend. Right. You know what I'm saying. But at the same time, stay out of everybody's personal business. <laughs> Listen, cause uh, Lisa wasn't gonna let you play. No, no, no. She was like, uh, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Listen. So even when it goes to you know having friends or having, well, I say friends um, or men who was watching the film just like your friend. What advice would you even give them? Um, no. What would I, advice would I give? They never listen for one. They don't listen, but if I can give some advice, man, uh, uh, stay home. Stay home. Yeah. Listen, so, it, I mean, it's already trending with Call Me Zaddy. Yes. So, what, what, just with the title, what, what, what comes to thought when you think about the title? You know what? The first thing that comes to mind is that episode of Insecure when, yes. you know, they was doing what they do. Yes. You know? Yes. <laughs> and she he was like, should I call you zombie? You right. know what I mean? That's the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of it. But, you know, I think culture also at the same time. Yes. And I think relationship, I think love, yes. I think a little sex, yes. you know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. I think so, I so I had a preview of the, of the film. And it's really just, you know, a couple that's going through their rounds. You know, both of them messed up and they're just trying to find and forgive. Yes. So what advice do you have to couples or just women who are trying to forgive their man but still move on? Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh. Um, 
I think it starts with uh, forgiveness. You got to understand that forgiveness and repentance is an ebb, is an ebb and flow, right? So if I'm going to forgive you, that means some change behavior has to happen all at the same time. Um, otherwise, there's no reason for me to reconnect myself with you. But I think for women, you know, don't be afraid to let that guard down and be soft and be gentle. Tell them how you feel. You know, let them know what's going on inside of you so that way they can show you if they really care or not. Right? Listen, your, your character, I mean, you did dodge a bullet. Because V was crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. V was crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if your character would have hooked up with V, how do you think that would have gone? Um, it's interesting. I, I really wish we could have got to explore that. I, but see, I don't know. I think it, it would have been an interesting thing, but um, I don't know. I, I, really, I really, maybe we get to explore that um, upcoming. Maybe I'll circle back, spin the block. Maybe she'll spin the block. Maybe her relationship won't work out. I don't know. It's interesting though. It's a very interesting question. Listen, and just going through the, the 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 things with you know relationships. You know, both of them were you know they did their wrongs, mm -hmm. but they were trying to forgive and forget. What advice do we have to couples who you know they both did their you know the wrongs, but trying to rekindle? Make it up. Make up. Just to apologize. Learn from your your mistake and don't do what you did. So yeah, just learn from it. Yeah. So what's we guys? I'm with the powerful, the beautiful. Listen, Lena, who is also the EP, how you doing? I'm doing excellent, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm, I'm glad to, to this film. Yes. I'm glad to be a part of this film. Thank you. I so, there's <laughs> so many things to unpack in here. So, when, why did you decide to turn the narrative for both of them and not just point the fingers on one person in the relationship? Hmm. Well, I think, you know, this, this series definitely tells a story and it definitely tells, um, there's some shady business going it's on, okay? And we like to expose the shady business. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, you know, we learn, you know, there, there, there's a lot of, um, you know, just back and forth yes. and it's like, it, it's, it's push and pull. We want to see will they or won't they, are they going to get back together? Are they not? You know, but we're trying to keep the marriage together. That's I think that's important as black, you know, for a black family. Hey. We're trying to keep the marriage together, but they doing some other stuff. They, they doing some some other stuff. I mean, we got V going crazy. So even you know, I like that you have the narrative that you want to keep the black relationship strong, but you're also showing that hey, we're not perfect. We're not. It's real life. It's absolutely real life. So why that narrative? Why, you know, you didn't have them split up or, you know, go through a divorce, but you let them know that, hey, I can forgive, but I can't forget. That's right. And we even integrated a marriage counselor, uh, Sonia Welch, the writer. She's amazing. And she, she you know, we, we sleep on mental health sometimes. Yeah. We sleep on therapy. And we need that. Yeah. Like, you know, we can't, we, we have to talk about it. We have to get it out. And because they went to therapy, they were able to work things out. And I think that's important to show that, like, there is an alternative to divorce, to separation. You know, so yeah, we want we wanted to show that that's real life, but we want them to work it out. We rooting for them. <laughs> and you know, um, I like how you brought up the therapy part because, you know, I would say five years ago, therapy was like, what you want to, especially, yes. And now that you know everyone's pushing for that, what would you give? Uh, what advice would you give others when it comes to the importance of therapy? Um, I would say definitely, you know, seek therapy, seek help uh, when you, you know. If something's wrong, there's there are plenty of people to talk to. There are plenty of professionals, and we shouldn't hide it. We should be excited and proud that we're trying to get help. That's a plus. It don't mean that you not, anything is wrong with you at all. So, as a female in the film industry, how are you ensuring that you pave the way for other women in the industry? Ooh, well, yes. Um, as I stated on my Fox interview. Period. Say, listen, run it back. Say it again. As I stated on my Fox interview. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think it's very important for women, especially black females, uh, to really have a platform, to be able to use that platform as a producer. It's easy for me to tell my story because I get to show it in my actors, my actresses, my work, my films, my series. But I do think, you know, keeping... Just, just, just staying strong. Stay in prayer. Uh -huh. That's another thing. Like stay in prayer. <laughs> we need that. But I think um, I, I just, I don't know. Like I, I just want to, want to lift up my sisters. You know, I think that's a big deal. We need to stick together more. Uh, and I'm, I'm here for it because I, I like everybody. <laughs> I hear that. So you played the therapist. Why do you think it's so important for black communities to go to therapy? Because a lot of us, unfortunately, we don't want to seek help. We don't like that word crazy. 
So we don't want to be labeled. And to be real, we don't want people in our business. We don't want say that part. That's I think that's the part. We don't want people in our business. Yeah. But if someone is there can that can listen, yeah. break down what you don't understand. Yeah. I'm here for it. It helps tremendously, and I suggest everybody because everybody needs a little therapy at one point in their life. So, in the movie, you actually help them stay together because if they wasn't for therapy, exactly. then they wasn't going to be together. Time to get them together. Time to get them. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah. let's talk more about why it's important. Why was it important for your character to step in? Because they needed to the help. They really needed to help. I saw that they were in trouble. Um, and I want to be there to maybe fix it, help them move along. So what do you want others to gain from Call Me Zaddy? I want you all to understand that marriages are hard, relationships are hard, and seek help. Yeah. Don't go to your best friend, to your cousin, to yeah, your mama. Go seek therapy. It really helps. It takes time, like everything else. But yeah, seek some help. So what's your thoughts about Call Me Zaddy? I loved it. You know, relationships are a hot topic in Atlanta. You know, dating is a struggle here. Ooh. So you can see that struggle on the screen. <laughs> so we just got done watching Call Me Zaddy. What's your thoughts? Uh, I mean, it's great, man. So um, I'm, a, I'm one of the producing partners of Gold Strand Media, and we do um, a lot of projects together. I didn't work on this particular project together. I'm, I'm, I'm really out here just to support them. Uh, we've done, I don't know, uh, over the last two or three months we've done over 10 projects together Ooh. so we're just kind of like cranking stuff up so really proud of them you know what I'm saying uh, Lena and Jay will you know yeah. it just made sense to come on board and really kind of you know uh, make some magic with them you know what I'm saying so as far as the, the project it was great man it was the production value was what it was you know what I'm saying like that's what they're known for so uh, there's no no surprises there so in there you know Sean he, he's been stuck between the two yeah. So if you could give anyone out there such as Sean some advice, what advice would you give him? Man, you know, um, the worst, something that would, something that's easily threatening our well-being is our, our crave for selfish desires. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you, when you start to prioritize your desires as opposed to your ambitions and your future and your, you know what I'm saying? Like that is, that's where a lot of us could succumb to our pride and our egos. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Sean will be all right, man. Sean got it. Sean, Sean, Sean got it. You just got to get focused. Listen, like your character, you really was bringing it. Like, I was like, yo, she know, she she got some stuff. She ain't giving it to us, <laughs> but she know. Listen, how was it playing April? April was a joy she's just like somebody who always knows something uh, but she's not gonna give you too much at all she's not gonna do it because she's loyal you know what i'm saying she loyal to her bestie she gotta be so right yeah so like are there any similarity between you and april um well april can keep a secret a little bit better than i can oops but uh, outside of that, it's a lot of similarities. I feel like me and April are like one in the same. She's yeah. a great friend. She's a mother. Yeah. I'm all of those things as well. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. How have your character evolved in the last four episodes? That's a great question. Um, I feel like April has gotten to be a little bit more open, mm. um, especially when it comes to the man, Jalen. Mm. Because before, like I said, I we had beef. I saw it. I ain't like Jalen because he was messing with my friend. But they got to watch it to figure out what what's going on, you know. Okay. And Jada, I was looking for Celeste. I was one of the ones like, where is Celeste? What was Celeste? You know, Celeste was figuring out her life, okay? She needed some, some time to figure some things out. If you've yeah. seen the past episodes, you yes. know, she got herself in a little situation. A little? A little. A little. You know, just a little something. Y'all better watch like, it. <laughs> yes. Why did you decide to go for the role Celeste? You know, Celeste, she is someone that I connected to as far as, like, just living by her own rules in life. You know, she is carefree. She is doing her thing. She's young. She's the baby of the family. Okay. I'm the baby of the family. Okay. So it's, like, <laughs> it's a few yeah. little similarities there that I can connect with with Celeste. So, yeah. We out.